pistachio, the underrated flavor. The one that's always sitting on the bench waiting for your grandmother to choose it. Well, that stops today. Yes, these nuts might be expensive, but they are well worth it. Pistachio, this is my love letter to you. I'm Kim and on today's episode of Macronomics, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make the classic flavor pistachio. You know, pistachio is an underrated flavor and it really doesn't get the notoriety it should. It tastes very nutty and a lot like vanilla and we're gonna be replacing the almond flour with pistachio. We'll be pairing this with a pistachio and vanilla buttercream, so let's get started. Okay, we are popping content out like babies this week. <laughs> pistachio macaroons are legit and to start them, we are going to roll up our sleeves because I already dipped myself once in egg white. Let's not do it again. Add your egg whites and save those egg yolks because I'm soon going to teach you what to do with them. Add your cream of tartar and your salt and mix it on high speed until it's foamy and frothy. Then you're going to add your granulated sugar, sugar and mix it back on high. You obviously always wanna keep an eye on your meringue, but in the meantime, cause it does sometimes take a while to whip up, you can sift your almond flour together with your confectioner's sugar. I like to use a spatula to kind of guide it through. You can give it a final stir just so they're all kind of incorporated with each other. This could be an OCD move, but that's fine. Now you're going to combine your meringue with your dry ingredients, all of it at once. This stuff is like gold, so don't leave any man behind. Now you're going to fold it gently into each other. Practice, practice, practice. And we're gonna undermix it because we're going to add just a little bit of color because we wanna keep these pistachio French macaroons as natural as possible. I know natural, not normally what we do around here, but you know. I would insist on using either an electric green or like a lime green to mimic the pistachio color. If you don't have such colors, you can mix green and a little bit of yellow. And we're adding the tiniest drop because like I said, we wanna keep this natural baby, all natural. Start with a little, you can always add more. Give it a good fold. And we're going to mix this batter until it's a lava-like consistency, still thick and has volume. Now we're going to transfer this to a piping bag with a large round tip. And we're gonna pipe it on a sheet pan with a nonstick silicone mat with pre-traced circles. It makes life a heck of a lot easier. When these go into the oven, I'm going to do two sheet pans. That will prevent browning on your shells. And we're gonna pipe out your French macaroons with a count of two. Hey, we match. So count out one, two, one, two. You want your shells to be no larger than one and a half inches in diameter and give them a good tap against the counter. I'm gonna allow these to rest for an hour or until a skin develops, and then I'm gonna pop them in an oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Ooh, now that these are out of the oven, we're gonna let them cool completely, and in the meantime, we're gonna make our pistachio buttercream. Add your butter and confectioner sugar to a bowl of a stand mixer. And you're gonna whip it until it's double in size and it will be white the longer you whip it for. Then we're going to add our ground pistachios and a little bit of vanilla extract. And that's it. Now it's optional, you can add a little bit of green and yellow gel food coloring if you want or you can keep it more of a natural color. And now we're gonna fill the French macaroons. So transfer your filling to a pastry bag with a large round tip and give them a good amount of filling. Put 
put the tops on and that's it. Pistachios are still one of my favorite, favorite flavors in the whole wide world. And I'm telling you, once you try this, you will switch over to the dark side, but it's not really the dark side. And I'm telling you, once you try these, you will be a fan as well. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If you wanna see more content, please be sure to follow my Instagram and my Facebook. And if you're gonna replicate any of my videos, recipes, or photos, please add a hashtag creme macaroons to your video and post so I can see, like, and share them to my stories. And as always, stay healthy, stay happy, and keep baking.